Good evening, Senum citizens. As is customary, I'm greeting you once again, especially on today, the Dies Natales Solis Invictus, or in English, the day of the birth of the unconquerable sun. To the ancient Romans, this festival was celebrated during the late Roman imperial era. And to the Romans, the sun was as if the imperium, or the imperator, the emperor. The sun was brilliant, and it was illuminating all the empire. And this is a symbol for the emperor himself. In Sandus, we have a similar symbol. We have a symbol that comprises everything we do in our state. We often talk about how things are illuminated or we we give symbols artistically and literally um, for for the sun and for the rays of light now this isn't something which compels us it isn't something that represses us like sun is most often thought to do Rather, it is a light that urges us. It doesn't make us shy away, it makes us move closer. It makes us move forward. And that is the difference between Sandum, Dies Natale Solis Invictus, and the Roman festival. Another difference is that in Sandus, the unconquerable sun isn't representative of the, of the emperor. No, in, in Sandus, the, the sun and the more passive form of the moon, these two are symbols of all that we do in our state. It's, it's the symbol of our philosophy, and most recently, we've developed this concept of the Sandum value which is essentially a, a key word for saying everything that is most important to the same philosophy. And that is essentially that we all suffer, that we all need compassion, uh, that we need to work for the betterment of, of society, um, and working for a cooperative society as well. And so this is the interior symbol of of the sun it represents our philosophy and because i do this speech annually i thought it would be important to recap on on the achievements we've made and like the sun like the light i think we need to be urged on we need to urge ourselves on by looking at the achievements we've made since the past Dies Natale Solis Invictus, our state has celebrated one year of both the secession and of the creation, and three years of the foundation of the country. Back in February, we celebrated perhaps one of the most artistic times, perhaps one of the most pensive times as well, of our state's history. February saw the creation of the realist philosophy, the realist policies that continue to urge us to the advancement of our state. Since February as well, we have seen an increase in the importance of Liberia. Most recently, this has been shown with Wyvern. But even dating back older times, to spring, to March, and to May, our state stressed the sovereignty of its sovereign borders, the independence of its political system, and the freedom of its philosophy and culture. In April, we celebrated one year since the creation of the state, and that was quite a wonderful time as well, because just like February, it saw 
the wonder of what we can do in terms of art and music, etc. In Mar in pardon me, in May, we celebrated again the Remembrance Day celebrations, as we have always done. This year, however, was a bit different. We began a new tradition of creating blueberry pies. That was something that I was most pleased with. And of course we watched the parade. May also saw the third anniversary of the creation of our country. We toured what is traditionally known as Kremlin Sandus, the province and the capital of our country. I am most proud by that time because the number three in Sandus is auspicious. It represents three things. It can represent Buddhism and it can represent the state. In the state we have the Sogamo, the party, and the citizens. And that is the secular symbol. But in terms of Buddhism we have the Buddha and the teachers, the Dharma and the Sangha. And so the, th the number three is very important. And with the third anniversary, it was a very auspicious time. And I'm, I'm very glad that we've gotten our way to three years. And I just hope that we can continue on to nine, ten, and so on. In June, we prepared for London. Later in June, we also celebrated Gay Pride Week, the first time our state has ever taken part in that celebration. And I'm very glad that we have. I believe that we stress the camaraderie between our state and all peoples, no matter their sexuality or their sex or their gender. <laughs> of course, July. July was overshadowed by all of London, which was a fantastic meeting, and I'm most proud of meeting all my micronational allies, all the allies of Sandus, um, as well as presenting our synopsis of the Sandum philosophy, which, rece which was received I believe, very well. But this also enabled us to look back at what we had actually accomplished. And the Santa philosophy has really been coming into, into practice since the creation of the state. And that is perhaps one of the most important things about the state, the state of Sandus. That is, through the state we've really stressed the independence and the self-advancement and the self-reliance of the entire country. And of course this continues on to today, and I'm sure that it will continue on for as long as the state may live. For the rest of the summer things have been rather quiet. We celebrated the Armalastrum with a great fanfare. In November, we celebrated uh, the October Revolution. We observed the National Day of, of Harmony and of Trust. Pardon me, of, of Truth. Truth and Trust. <laughs> um, but we also held the Citizens Communist Party of Sandus Party Congress, which was very instrumental in in laying the current policy of our state. And of course, most recently in December we have had the election, we have finalized the taxes we've collected for the year, and I can say that we've, we've made over 50,000 grains of rice, and we've collected and donated more than $200 to charity. We've given uh, quite a lot, and we have volunteered a lot. Um, which is fantastic, because this is another uh, important impact of the Sin philosophy.
and it's coming into fruition. It's coming into the physical realm, rather than just saying and thinking, we're finally doing. And that is very important. Um, and with December, we've also celebrated uh, numerous and observed numerous rites and, and festivals. And I'm, I'm very glad uh, for all the advancement that the Collegio Saves Today and the party has seen in the past month and a half. Um, and I just hope that it will continue on into the next Gregorian year of 2013. It is my hope that I may address you again on the new year, um, both the Gregorian and the Sancta New Years. Um, but even if I don't, this is my message for the Dies Natale Soli, Solis Invicti that I am utmost proud of all the advance that we have had, all the advances, and I, I simply hope that through the party, through our citizens, and through my office, we may continue to see the advance for the creation of our sovereign state. And that just as the sun we can continue to be brilliant and to illuminate the entire world. Thank you, and I hope that each and every one of you will have a wonderful holiday, no matter what religion you celebrate, nor, not, nor matter what holiday you celebrate. Thank you.